Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video, I am going to talk about the gaming performance of this laptop. But before showing you the performance result, let's briefing on the Lenovo Legion gaming laptop hardware spec first. This Legion Pro 5i was equipped with the latest Intel Core Ultra 9 275HX CPU, total up to 24 cores, 5.4 GHz clock speed, and 3 nanometer transistor. The GPU in this laptop is a NVIDIA RTX 5070, 8 GB of VRAM DDR7, and 115 Watt of total graphic power. The RAM have total 32 GB DDR5 and run up to 6400 MHz of clock. For the storage, this laptop total have 2 terabyte. Both are M.2 SSD. This laptop was equipped with a 15 watt 4 cell lithium polymer and 80 watt per hour of battery size. Most of the game in this video are high graphic and processing power demanding. Graphic settings for all games are set to highest quality with maximum ray tracing. The first round rules is to test the raw graphic processor performance, meaning no DLSS, no frame generation, or other AI enchanting tools during gaming.
手，一正气，攻上，由我裁定。Those are the benchmark results recording from the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i Gen 10 at the highest graphics setting in each game. Most of you have saw how the gaming laptop performed at each game with raw performance with no DLSS or frame generation. Some games perform well, but some can't. Now let's evaluate which game run the best and worst on this laptop to identify which game should require DLSS or graphic access tools during gaming. The top best performance that Lenovo Legion can handle is Warhammer with up to 112 FPS in maximum graphic settings and no DLSS. The rendering latency can be controlled less than 12 milliseconds. In second place is Dual Night Abyss which can handle around 70 to 80 FPS, but sometimes 100 in maximum graphic settings. The rendering latency can be controlled less than 30 millisecond to 11 millisecond. Top 3 smoothness performance during gaming is Hogwarts Legacy with around 60 plus FPS in maximum setting. Rendering latency can be controlled down to 25 millisecond. Next is where winds meet. It can run around 60 FPS in maximum settings, but sometimes can reach to 70 FPS peak. Rendering latency was around 17 to 50 millisecond. Down to mid-tier gaming performance that the gaming laptop can handle. In top 5 is Infinity Nikki, running around 40 to 50 FPS with rendering latency of 25 millisecond to 60 millisecond. In top 6 is Pacific Drive. The game only runs less than 50 FPS with maximum graphic settings. The latency was more than 28 millisecond. Now let's move to device unfriendly games. At this point, low to medium graphic settings or DLSS frame gen was required for better gaming experience. Top 7 is Wuthering Wave with less than 40 FPS but sometimes less than 20 FPS in some scenarios with maximum graphic settings. The rendering latency can reach up to 103 millisecond but 50 to 80 millisecond as average. Even Crazy is the only game that crushed multiple times during game tests compared to other games. This issue can happen due to unoptimized engine system and not properly working in some settings. Lastly, the most deadly game in gaming history is Cyberpunk, for in top 8, also the worst performance handled by Lenovo Legion Pro 5i. This game only can run less than 10 FPS in maximum graphic settings with psycho ray tracing. The rendering latency can burst up to 120 millisecond 
to 200 milliseconds. But surprisingly, cyberpunk does not crash during long period of suffering compared to watering wave. Honorable mention, Genshin Impact usually FPS cap to 60 FPS, but in theory, this gaming laptop can handle around 90 to 110 FPS in maximum setting. Alright, that's all from me guys. Hope this video helped you. In the next video, I will showing you the maximum performance this Lenovo Legion Pro 5i can do with 8 of the LSS and frame generation. So, I will see you in another video again. Goodbye.